One UI 311 is finally available for Samsung Galaxy S series. And now update finally lands for Galaxy S21 series. It's rolling out in European countries including Germany, Netherlands and Switzerland, but probably it will spread to more countries these days. And you can see the update weights almost 1 GB with security patch level 1st of August. This is 2nd August update for S21 series, but this one is very very big. What's new? Overall stability of functions improved and that's it. And that's what Samsung share with us. But of course, let's download the update and let's check everything new which is coming with this One UI 3.1.1. I will share with you all the new features coming with it. But before we continue, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's download it. Your phone has been updated. Alright, let's check this. Of course guys, it's still One UI 3.1 because 3.1.1 probably will be reserved only for foldable Z series because it's uh, with redesigned interface and lots of changes especially for, for Z series devices. But now let's check what new we have here on our S21 series device. Of course, after update so big, one gigabyte, my advice is just to go in recovery and clear the cache of your device. How to do this? By holding power button, tap power off. When your device is off, just plug in your USB cable to your computer and plug it to your device. Here it is and when it start charging like now just hold volume up and power button. And of course continue holding then until you are at the recovery mode. When you are there just scroll down with your volume buttons and select wipe cache partition. Be careful to not wipe the data partition. Wipe cache partition, tap power button, select yes, cache wipe complete and just reboot system now. That was it. Ok, let's check the new things. According to some mobile, this update appears to be introducing a wide variety of small changes from new and faster animations to faster app launching. Some users are reporting that the firmware update even helps the Galaxy S21 series dissipate heat with more ease. And I will check that and will inform you later because there is really an issue with heating of Galaxy S21 series. Samsung also went back to the drawing board with enhanced processing, it's no longer called that, it's now referred to as processing speed and it includes three new presets, optimized, high and maximum. Let's go and check that. It was battery in performance, battery, scroll down, more battery settings and you can see now we have processing speed. You can see here how it was before but now we have processing speed and we have here three options. Optimized, best for most situations, balanced speed with battery and cooling efficiency. High, get faster data processing, helpful if some apps are running slowly, uses more battery and may cause heating. Of course, it's completely normal and maximum, best for short-term use, 
with processing intensive ups, uses battery rapidly and tends to cause heating. Of course maximum is probably only for benchmark testing. Now I will leave it optimized and will check if there is improvement in heating. Here we have now processing speed toggle, before that it was enhanced processing. Let's check what's new here and the new thing here is bedtime mode is now available here in toggles before that it was only available in digital well-being but now we have a toggle available here on the status bar bedtime mode this is also something new coming with this update we have a toggle for bedtime mode it's written here yes bedtime mode is now here on the notification center and of course we can check at the biggest issue until now for Galaxy S21 series. This is the camera lock. Let's just open the camera. Let's tap to focus and tap for shoot. Let's disable send optimizer and check again the speed. Let's go to home screen, open camera again. I think it's improved. The speed is good. Open and closing the camera and Let's snap a photo, let's change the lens, zoom to white, again zoom and just a normal. I think also we have improvement in speed but maybe this is because I cleared the cache of my device. Let's snap some photos again, close the camera, open it, close it and let's remove it from recent. Open again camera and close, open, snap photo, close. I think there is a small improvement here and with every update Samsung are improving S21 series. So major difference here as some mobile and Samsung claims there are improvements in animation speed and heating problem. I hope it's fixed already that heating but this is something I will check and inform you maybe later in video. You can see what's written here, these settings doesn't apply to games, you can manage game performance in game launcher. So this is for normal daily use and of course for your benchmarks. Samsung are improving their device, we'll see in daily use if there is anything new because this is very big update, almost 1 gig. So probably there are lots of lots of improvements. Thanks for watching guys. If this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Have a nice day!